here's something absolutely frightening in my opinion I have been smoking occasionally this past week before bed and I've had like more dreams than usual I'm gonna tell you what some of the dreams were just so that I can kind of unpack them if there is any unpacking to do um, but it leads me worries me a little bit and it leads me to think that to realize even more that I feel like I'm 10 years behind like I'm a late bloomer like most people move out when they're 18 or 19 I moved out when I was like 28 or 29 on my own you know um, I well I've never been married I have no kids um, I don't have any pets it's just me and that's okay for the most part because I'm kind of like a loner and introvert I feel like most daddy is alone so my dreams i had one dream two nights ago that there was like maybe an orphaned baby or something and there was like something wrong with the baby or nobody wanted it or something and so like i tried to get it it's like a movie these dreams are so weird we underestimate ourselves so much i feel like you know what i mean because our minds subconsciously create vivid dreams and these dreams are like the are like movies that if given a piece of paper and hat and pen she's telling you to write a movie you couldn't but you have a, a vivid dream that plays out like a movie that is crazy so uh, maybe i'm not explaining it right i don't know i don't big you know i vaguely remember the dream but i remember this culmination of all this stuff occurring where um you know the baby just needed help i guess i wanted to help it i tried to adopted i think and at the very moment where i found out that i i i was approved for the adoption was when i put my hand into the crib and yeah i found out you're approved for adoption meanwhile baby grabs my finger and i'm like wow because that was me i was me in that moment you know and i was like uh oh my life has changed forever and i have a baby now so that was crazy. Next night, the essence of the dream was that I was, I was me. I went to a Disney World type place with my mom, which I already have done. I ran into a childhood friend who was also there with her mom. Difference being, she was also there with her kids. Like it made sense that that's why they took them to the park. But me being 32 years old and there with my mom, the running into an old friend like that where she's like so what are you up to with your life and i'm like uh -huh. youtube and she and you know that and that's it it's just like what you see is what you get i create youtube videos and i'm at disney world with my mom <laughs> you know she's like oh this is you know my kids my mom you know we're taking them to the park um so it was like a confrontation of where other people are at with their lives compared to where I'm at with mine and not necessarily meaning that like I am in a lesser place or not where I want to be I'm just in a different place and it probably mostly just speaks to my insecurity about that and which is the, the insecurity is of like what society views me or certain people as like potentially as less than because they're not a husband wife uh mother father you know office worker a person with a job that they don't like it's just hard to relate to a person that's so carefree i, I i'm sorry i'm not really sure what i'm talking about anymore i just yeah, those were just my dreams so but they both involved like one involved my adopting a baby and the other involved me seeing somebody you know that i was very close with at one time with their kids and being like is that what i'm supposed to do and that's not a revolutionary thing of course like yeah that's what people generally do at first i thought i would never find a boyfriend partner husband and then i thought that i would and that that person would be the one to kind of push me to have children because they would want them um but now i think i then i thought i just don't i just don't want them because my future 
when I see it is, to be honest, extremely vague and I'm not sure, but I've never saw it with children in it of my own. So these dreams are just strange to me and that's why I say that they're like scary, I guess. Well, I probably had a million dreams that night. What were the rest like? I guess I don't know. So are these significant that I remember them or not? And I've never dreamt about like having kids before or wanting kids or anything like that. But then I started thinking like, oh, but you're 10 years behind. Like, like I said. So now I'm 32. Do people start like thinking of having kids at 22? Cause I'm 32. Oh God, I, I wouldn't be surprised if I'm like, oh yeah, no, now I want to do that. Just cause I am such a late bloomer, it's true. So I don't know, I'm not really like acting on that. Um, I don't really truly think that that's what I want. I just found it very interesting and this is the first kind of little seedling of any kind of thought like that. Uh, will it grow into something more? Was it a fluke? I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna continue to smoke before bed and see what happens. But I actually heard or I thought that those, I thought that that doesn't, makes you not dream, but it's making me dream or remember them. So I know I'm just kind of rambling on, but I don't know. I just want to talk to you guys. I just, just want to connect with people as like a human sharing their human experience of more of like a documentary type project, I guess. I hope you're well. Subscribe if you want. And um, yeah, I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.